Hi, my name is Noah Neal. I'm a consultant with Key Performance Ideas, and today we're going to be discussing Oracle Planning and Budgeting as a Cloud Service, Oracle PBCS, system email notification. So this is actually part of a two-video series around email notifications. In the first part, we discussed how to enable uh, email notifications within PBCS, and we actually went through a walkthrough of um, a job that was manually kicked off and, and we received an email notification for that particular job. Um, now we're going to see a more, uh, more impactful example of utilizing email notifications within um, automated processes. Um, so let's just go ahead and take a look at an example script. Um, I have a screenshot of a script here, a batch script. Uh, for loading metadata and for refreshing the cube. And you can see I've got two, the two uh, primary job tasks that are called out here. Um, the first, import metadata for uh, my department dimension. And the particular job task is called import department metadata. Um, the second is for refreshing the cube. And you can tell that the job here is refresh cube. I actually created this job during the last video. Um, so you're going to want to look there to see how to how to set up a particular uh, refresh job if you're unfamiliar with that. But you, I should point out that you can actually combine both of these in in one job. Um, it's just a simple check checkbox after setting up the uh, import metadata uh, job task. But we actually broke it up into two just for the purpose of this demonstration, having multiple uh, multiple job tasks embedded within an automation script. Um, you can see also that I have my login uh, step here as well for, for logging into the system through EPM Automate um, and also an upload file for uploading the uh, CSV file that I have. Let's take a look at the um, metadata that I'm trying to upload here. Just a very simple uh, statement here just, um, just around uh, bringing in the department member that is new department. So basically we're just going to be uploading this. We're going to be importing the member into the application and then we're going to be refreshing the cube. So let's go ahead and actually launch this automation script through the command prompt. I'm just going to go in to the command prompt. Changing my directory here. And my script is called Import Department Metadata Script. And it's going to go ahead and process. And you can tell I received my email notification. For the first step, let's take a look at that. It says that the metadata import was successful. So the file has been successfully um, uploaded to planning and also brought in uh, to the application. And again, I have, as discussed during the last video, um, my login uh, information as well as uh, start time and end time for the particular job. So you can tell for the second piece, the refresh, I have an error. So member name and its alias must be unique amongst siblings. Here's the email notification relating to that. So if I'm an admin, again, you can see the, the, the power of using the email notifications here. I wouldn't have to monitor uh, through Job Console, through the command prompt, or through a batch log, or anything like that. Uh, I could just go about my, my business activities, and I've received notifications for each of the jobs, and if something is wrong, I could tell this through the email alert. But well, unfortunately, something is wrong here. Um, I have a duplication issue. So let's go ahead and correct it now that I've received this notification. 
I take a look at my department hierarchy. You can tell that it brought the member in, but the alias that I was using was incorrect because a business development already exists here. So let's go ahead and call it something different. Go back to the home page here. And we're just going to call this new business department. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And now I'm going to go and actually delete the file that's in the planning inbox currently. So if I go into Inbox Outbox Explorer, this file is, is incorrect. I'm going to go ahead and delete it so that the automation will bring in the latest file that we just modified. I'm also going to just delete the member as well for good measure. Let's go ahead and kick off the automation again. Do the command prompt. And I'm using the command prompt just for demonstration purposes. Um, again, you'd probably use a uh, something like a Windows uh, task scheduler or um, maybe it's a, just a double click to run your automation script. But we're just visualizing it in the command prompt as well for more information. Let's go ahead and go back in. And that's the first alert. Again, we've uploaded our file and we've successfully imported it. You can tell it's processing here. I can also see as such through the job console brought in successfully, we had an error on the refresh. And now we can tell that the refresh was complete and it was successful. I can see it such through the job console. And if I go in and take a look at the update to my hierarchy, You can tell that I'm good there as well, and I have my updated alias. Um, so you can imagine we just we just utilize the um, email notifications for two particular job tasks within an automation script, but sometimes you might have multiple, maybe a double-digit number of, of jobs in a particular automation script, and you wouldn't want to keep going into Job Console and, and checking the status. Um, it's convenient to simply enable the email notifications in planning and receive alerts as far as the outcome for your, your job tasks just through your email. Uh, thank you so much for your time. I hope that you learned a lot from this presentation, and we'll catch you again soon.